Greetings, everyone. This is Timon Green, and I'm back to give another video. So, in this video, I'm going to be discussing record keeping for rideshare drivers. So, by rideshare drivers, I mean if you drive for a company such as Uber or Lyft, it's very important to keep track of accurate records, not just for personal reasons, but mainly for tax preparation. So I'm going to be giving you some tools for accurate record keeping to keep track of all of this information for tax purposes and also for personal purposes. Now, however you look at Rideshare, some of you can look at it as a side job or a business. But either way, side job or main business is still a business. So everything that you do as far as record share is concerned needs to be reported to the IRS. So one of the tools that you can use for accurate record share driving is QuickBooks Online. Now, QuickBooks Online is great a great platform for business record keeping. And the good thing about QuickBooks Online is QuickBooks Online can be linked directly to your business. Or, well, you don't have to have a business bank account. I take that back. It could be linked to your personal account. And if you, you know, use your social security number when you sign up for Uber and Lyft, then all of the income that you get from Uber and Lyft is going to go into your bank account. And you know that it's from Uber or Lyft because it has specific descriptions. So if you link QuickBooks Online to your bid to your bank account, you can capture all of the income that come in through Uber and Lyft, and you'll be able to report all of that income, and you'll have sort of backup information for your 1099. So all of your income can be grouped in QuickBooks Online, and it can be recorded as such. And I suggest this because we get, depending on how you cash out at the end of your shift or whatever you stop driving, then you want to definitely treat that as income because all of that is going to need to be reported to the IRS. It will be reported, and it will be verified not just through your 1099, but you'll also have records for that as well. So QuickBooks Online becomes a very, very vital record keeping piece. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a little thing that I'm giving away to all of my Uber and rideshare drivers. I have a little uh, announcement after I go through all of these topics. So bear with me for just a couple more moments as I'm going to be introducing something that I'm going to be doing on this channel specifically for y'all at no cost all right so that's quickbooks online so the second thing that we need to keep track of for record keeping is all of our vehicle models that's also presented to you on your 1099 but it's also good to have a personal log of all of your vehicle miles that you do as well as backup so every ride that you give with Uber or Lyft, you know how many miles that you're driving, and then you can always get a breakdown at the in the app of all of your miles, which you can track for tax purposes. So there's vehicle miles. Now next, we have a system of scanning all of our receipts. So receipts includes things that you purchase that is related to driving. So if you buy the, if you purchase water for your passengers or mints or gums or anything, maybe it's cans, it's, it's, uh, whatever it is that you pass out and give to your passengers, you want to keep receipts of all of that. So if you do indeed purchase bottled water or if you purchase mint and gum to give to the passengers when they get into your vehicle, that's all tax related and tax deductible. So you can write that off. 
also receipts for vehicle repairs, vehicle maintenance. If you go to the car wash and you get a maintain a receipt, you can do that. You can keep track of all the times you go and you vacuum out your vehicle. All of this. Now, there are certain apps out there that can scan receipts. One of them that I can think of off the top of my head is an app called ScanBot, where you can actually scan the receipt and keep records of that and categorize that. So that is a very good tool to have whenever you are scanning and keeping track of all of your receipts related to your ride share. All right. And lastly, you always want to keep track of your monthly financial statements. That's also available inside of the QuickBooks Online. So the monthly financial statements will tell you how much income you bring in and how much expenses are going out so you can keep track of how you're actually doing with your ride share. You definitely want to relate everything to the ride share. Now, in order for this to be effective, you know, usage of your debit card whenever you're purchasing things is a good way to keep track of all of your expenses that you are providing in the ride share. Now, all of your income go directly to your bank account through the app, but whenever you use a debit card to purchase something such as, you know, the, the water or the gum or you, the vehicle repairs, tires, whatever the case may be, you want to use your debit card. That's always my suggestion so you can keep track of it. And the monthly financial statements will break down how much income is coming in and how much expenditures are going out so you can really see the net value in your ride share. And just like how I teach you online about ride share, the best way is to treat it as a business because it is. So you want to keep track of everything. So that is the monthly financial statements. So these are some of the tools that can benefit you when you do the ride share. Now, this is what I'm going to do specifically for my ride share drivers on this particular channel at no cost to you. When it comes down to helping you set up your books and your records for ride share, I'm going to be providing free videos on how to do that and mainly what I'm going to be using is QuickBooks Online. So I am going to give you right your driver's own free lessons on how to use QuickBooks Online to do certain things to keep track of your books and records because it is very important and it's very essential and I don't want anybody getting in trouble with the IRS or losing out on certain deductions that they're missing. So for rideshare drivers, I'm going to be creating a series of videos which is going to show you how to use QuickBooks Online effectively to keep track of your books and records. So you can expect that to be coming out very soon. Um, tax time is, is here, it's approaching. So I want to make sure that you have the tools for accurate tax preparation and for any future Uber or Lyft drivers, I'm giving you information on how to keep track of your books and records. Now it's not going to be complicated. It'll be something very easy, something very simple, but it's very important for you to do because everything that you do within the ride share is tax deductible. Vehicle expenses, uh, cell phone, everything. Even if you purchase mounts for your cell phone, you can even write that off. So I want to make sure that all of you are capturing that information. So I will be, that's my announcement. Free record keeping sessions for rideshare drivers. Can't do that. Not costing you anything. So I'm Timon Green, QuickBooks and Accounting Educator. I also have a course where I show individuals how to make money from home as virtual bookkeepers. As a virtual bookkeeper, you help small business owners and even rideshare drivers keep track of their books. You can learn how to do
do that, you can earn substantial income while working from home. And the information on my course will be posted in the description section. So I look forward to working with all of you in the future. Look out for my videos specifically for Uber and rideshare drivers. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.